Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answerman. Okay, this one we'll go back to speak pipe. This is Sean from Michigan. What's up, Bobby? Cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is he shifting? Daddy, That's, what, That's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> the hair magnificent McCall. Well. And Eric, the truth, nothing but the truth, McCabe. Oh. This is Sean from Michigan. I have a couple questions for you today. Uh, my first is in lieu of the question I asked on YouTube last week about uh, disc stability. Now, I've been playing for two years exactly today. Today's my disc anniversary and my birthday. So my form has improved, and I'm starting to notice discs that flew straight for me with a little bit of stable finish now are starting to go understable. Mm -hmm. So when I'm throwing them, how can I tell that the disc is just naturally going understable due to uh, getting it up to speed more compared to throwing in more of on a turnover shot, on a turnover line. Do I just l look at the disc flatness? And if the disc is flat, then I know that the disc is naturally turning over on its own. Um, thanks, guys. And now my second question is, putting has sort of been, become a, a sore spot for me lately. I'm starting to throw everything on, on a horrible hyzer line putt. Uh, is this a, a grip issue? Is it a line issue? Um, what's going on? Any input would help. Thanks, guys. Keep it real. Sweet. Wish happy got. birthday. Yeah. And happy disc anniversary. Yes. Sweet. Um, awesome. And happy double cheese gordita crunch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still yeah. thinking about that. Yeah, you are. Get out of here with that. I'm sorry. So <laughs> when you're talking about turning discs over, um, whether you're forcing it over or it's turning on its own, uh, yeah, I think if you throw the disc flat, then you should be able to tell. If it moves right on its own and it comes out smooth, then the disc is probably on the more understable side for what you're used to, right? Yeah. How, however, a lot of people will say a disc is too understable when they're throwing it kind of as hard as they can flat and it wobbles its way over to the right. That's called off-axis off torque, and that means that you're not getting a smooth release on the disc. Right. So I, I have heard a lot of people who don't have the best form say, oh, that disc is too understable for me. That's not the case. It's that right. you're throwing it poorly. Right. And so, yeah, a good a good litmus test is to let it go straight. And if it if it gets over to the right extremely quickly, then and you see it kind of wobble through the air, then there's a chance that you're not putting it on the angle that it needs to be, that your angle of reach back and release and follow through aren't matching the shot that you're trying to throw like a wounded duck. Exactly. Just, mm -hmm. um, yeah. But if it comes out smooth and turns to the right, then yeah, it's just <laughs> got a little bit more understable on you. Everybody wanted to get their sound. Effect yeah, yeah. I like it. Uh, and then the other one was about hyzer putting <laughs> hyzer uh, putts, how to correct it. Yeah. I mean, you've never really messed around with hyzer putting. Uh, I, I never have. Cause I grew up playing on Mach threes and if you hyzer putt into Mach threes, it's no good situation. I know this to be true. Yeah. Uh, when I'm trying to putt flat, I'm a natural hyzer putter. When I'm trying to putt flatter, I like to pop my bottom fingers up. Instead of mm -hmm. releasing out at the basket, kind of just think about popping them up and holding my hand a little bit more open to the sky. That helps me to get the disc a little bit flatter. That's something to try. Um, it also may just be that you're holding it on hyzer when you're pulling back. So it might help you to just, uh, this seems really simple, but to hold it flat when you're, when you're pulling back. Yes. That helps me to work on my angles for sure. Yeah. And even get like even more, uh, aggressive Anheuser putts on it just to kind of get a feel for it. So you can kind of feel the difference yes. in, the, in, in both motions and then kind of meet yourself in the middle. Definitely. Yeah. Overdo it so that you can reel it yep. back in. Yep. Agreed. You like that, Bobby? Was that good? Do yeah, you, I'm, trying you, so, I'm trying something. Do you good. agree or not? I agree. Let's see if this works. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now we're all three on screen. All oh, right. Look at we that. did nice. it. Maybe I... Okay. Yeah. 